All right, well, Cheryl Tan is here with some pearls of wisdom from a Virginia Beach man known as the happiest man in America. This guy really knows how to rock the power of the positive. Nine years ago, USA Weekend Magazine did a search. They conducted tests and interviews and found that man in Virginia Beach. His name is J.P. Godsey. Since J.P. was named the happiest man in America, quite a bit has happened in his life and in the lives of many Americans. Not all of it you would characterize as good news, but J.P.'s attitude has not changed, and that's why we went to him for some life life lessons in today's What's Your Problem? You're from Virginia Beach? I've been here 27 years, but I'm really a West Virginia boy. Happiness may be a state of mind, but J.P. Godsey oh, wow. has no problem stacking the deck. It's beautiful out here, and it kind of matches your mood, doesn't it? I think so. I mean, we've got a beautiful day to talk like this, and so uh, Virginia Beach is the best place to live in America, and we're certainly blessed to live here. I make a choice every day on what kind of a day it's going to be, and everybody in America can do this. To J.P. Godsey, every day is a radiant one, even if it isn't. Don't worry about the weather and other things. Heck, if it had rained today, we would have gone under the shelter and still had a, a good time at an interview. This man's optimism has gotten him quite a bit of attention. In 2003, USA Weekend Magazine scoured the country, named Virginia Beach the best place to live in America, and went in search of the happiest person who they determined was J.P. Godsey. You live, you try to learn from it, and then you move on. That's a big thing about being uh, happy. Godsey has three rules he lives by. I say, first thing is we gotta be grateful. Control the controllables. A lot of things I can't control. The stock market, the war, the election, I can vote. And expect less and give more. I had some time off uh, between jobs. And I spent that time catching up on my volunteering. Giving back really means getting back. And you, I sense a whole sense of fulfillment when I try to do something just nice and unexpected for somebody. And that's a proven fact. These are simple rules Godsey says he comes back to again and again, especially when things haven't been so rosy. Since 2003, a lot has happened in your life. You don't have your house anymore don't have the marriage you had before. Things have been kind of rough. You had some health problems. Are you still happy? Sure. Because so many people have it so much worse. Cancer, I, I beat it. At least I'm a, I'm a survivor so far. I had a lovely marriage to so a lovely lady. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but she's happy now. And, uh, you know, I can't live with the regrets. Over the last few years, he's also noticed others having tough times. He's seen bus stops have gotten more crowded. And I stop and I try to give a lot more people rides at the bus stop so I see somebody in the rain. Because one of the things about being happy is trying to do nice things on an unexpected basis. Take the shopping cart back instead of just leaving it in the driveway. On the news, it can be pretty tough to find a positive spin. Rising gas prices, devastation in the Midwest, tensions in the Middle East. Godsey doesn't try. When, when it comes down to those things, sometimes you can't help other than offer your, which a shoulder and a good listener is something that's so powerful. And out of necessity, he's had to make some changes. One of the big things about being happy, and I've learned this, is learning to live more simply. I, I like to use the word make friends, not reservations. We all fall short sometimes. It. But it's, it's that thing about every day when times are tough that we put one step in front of the, in front of the other because it's the journey and if we continue to work every day toward being better people because it all starts with ourselves a great guy. He has written a couple of books on the subject, on happiness. He's also started a foundation to help others in our area. You can find him online at MrHappyUSA.com and we'll link that information to the HamptonRoadShow.com.